everybody, this is Tabitha Jane, and I thought it would be a good thing to do for the weekend. A pick a card or pick a deck, pick a pile, love reading. We've got pile one, we've got pile two, we've got pile three. Now, as you're thinking and whatever number first comes to your mind, that's the number that you probably want to first go with. And if you've got a couple, you can follow a couple. There will be um, timestamps in the description and also a pinned post so you can hop right to what you want. We are using the Fairy Tarot cards, Whispers of Love, and Lover's Oracle. Clarifying cards are going to be the Enchanted Love Tarot. At the end of the reading, I will pull some angel answers. Um, to give you timing, insight, clarity, whatever it is based on the circumstance situation because I have no clue myself. And if we need further clarification, we've got the classic tarot. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So this is pile one. And if this is the pile you've chose, this is where we're going to start. Let me take pile two and pile three to the side. Don't want to get things all mixed up, you know two and three okay pile one the first card that came out for you the fairy tarot cards is princess of autumn studious responsible cheerful and mischievous mm -hmm. happy news happy news about your career promotions or scholarships well thought, thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. Okay, pile one. That's your overall energy. Let's see what else comes out. Listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. Okay. And Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. Okay, pal one, I'm getting the overall energy right now that you are so focused on learning, growing, being responsible that your ancestors and guides, because that's who I called in for guidance for you. I asked them, what does pile one need to hear? Right now, it looks like you're so focused on the work, whatever your work is, that you are not hearing your heart. Let's see what the other, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And I feel like that's support and encouragement to you to realize it is okay. There is no right or wrong. Whatever you choose, whatever that experience is, it is, to, it is for your expansion. It is for your benefit. So let's call in the Enchanted Love Tarot and get some clarity. Ancestors, guides, guardians, angels. Messages, please, of clarity and wisdom. Whoa. High Priestess, Intuition, yeah, listening, listening with your heart. Queen of Roses, the leader. Finding your passion, balancing that passion. Leading your life between the physical things you're trying to create, that abundance, that security, but also your heart. Balancing those two. Five of shells. Some of y'all have suffered some disappointment, some heartache, some heartbreak. And what I'm hearing is that's why you're so focused on work and you're blocking what is being called to you. Your high priestess that that intuition is trying to help you find that place of balance between your heart and the physical. Okay, 
That's why the baby tarot's over here. For those watching, please, can we get some clarity? Oh, sorry. I don't have a great setup. Okay, let's try it this way. So I don't rock the camera more. Can we get clarity, please? What are we disappointed in? Those. Why is there disappointment in love, please? Ace of Swords. Why? Why are we disappointed in love? Those who chose pile one, why? Why disappointed in love, please? Messages, please. Chariot. Queen of Wands again. This is Queen of Roses. Five of Wands. So I feel like the disappointment comes because at one point in time you felt like there was going to be a great victory. Someone, something, some situation, circumstance, whatever led you to believe that there was going to be a great victory, a win in the realm of love for you. And that was something that you raced towards because you believed it passionately, lovingly, confidently. But ultimately, it turned out to be nothing but conflict, struggle. challenge and as a result that's that's why you decided to kind of block your heart a little bit to focus only on being studious and responsible focus on your career on learning but now you are needing a push to get going. And that's what all this is, is your ancestors and your angels and your guides are coming to tell you this energy is the past. This is done. This is the what was. And it's okay that you felt that way, but there was a lesson to be learned from that. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. There is no right or wrong. Whatever it was that was a, a massive disappointment for you, whatever this looks like, this is a general reading. Whatever this looks like for you, though, in your personal life, it is now your challenge to look at it from a different angle, a different perspective. To realize it was a lesson that was meant to expand you, not hurt you. It was meant to help you grow. Angel answers. For those who chose Pile 1, what would you like Pile 1 to know? Angels, guardians, guides. Okay, thank you. Abundance. You have abundance in all things. Abundance isn't just about money. Abundance isn't just about material things. You are abundant in love. You are abundantly connected with your higher self, with your angels. Look, look, do you see the light, the glow? And you are abundant in the physical realm. But you are massively abundant in love. And it is, it is up to you to recognize and receive, to acknowledge that abundance. 
Let me see if anything else flipped over for you. Okay, this is also. You're ready, you're ready to receive. Again, the glow. Do you see the glow? And the abundance. You are ready to receive it all. Accept whatever it was that happened. It wasn't your fault. And if it was your fault, forgive yourself. Ho'opopono prayer. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. You could say it as many times as you need, as often as you need, for yourself, for others, to release and let go. So that that power, that karmic energy no longer is limiting you and your growth and love. So pile one, I don't have any other cards that flipped for you. I just went through them. Those are your messages. I wish you all the best. I love you. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about he healing, there's a whole section on my channel for free about different healing techniques. I'm here for you. And um, I love your comments, your feedback, your thoughts. If you found this helpful, beneficial, if it resonated in any way, um, please consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. And it helps me be able to reach out and help others. But only if you found value, please. <laughs> but just know I appreciate you all. I hope you have an amazing weekend. So much love to you. Let go. Release and let go. And um, I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised at how things transition for you. Also, by the way, we've got that... Uh, new moon in Sagittarius on the 14th which is really about releasing letting go ending cycles because that's how you create space for new beginnings new chapters all right pile one I really genuinely hope this was helpful to you thank you all for your time and have an amazing weekend Okay, if you chose a pile two, this is your reading. The fairy tarot card that came out for you was Eight of Spring. Stress that comes from having many things happening at once. Successful multitasking. Sudden events of changes. Hmm. Okay. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. All right, pile two. I'm getting a couple different messages out of these. Some of you are multitasking successfully, but it's also bringing an element of stress. And I feel like for some of you, because this is a general reading, some of you are ignoring your emotions. You're ignoring those feelings inside of you because you're so focused on getting things done. Some of you are successfully multitasking, managing the events of changes very well, ignoring love. I don't know. Let's see what else we got here. Playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. So yeah, I feel like pile two, you guys gotta lighten up. 
your ancestors, your guides, your guardians, your angels, these are the these are the energies I called in to help me get the messages for you. I just I feel like sorry about that. Um it's time it, it's time to lighten up. It, it's like the stress, the neglect of the emotions, um, not remembering love, not making time for fun. Pile one was pretty similar too. Let's see what else, what other guidance. This is the enchanted love tarot. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you guys are getting talked to. First card out, the lovers, attraction. The second card out is three of wings, sorrow. Ancestors, guardians, guides, clarity, wisdom, and insight, please. For those watching this portion of the reading. Okay, thank you. Give me a second, y'all. Your energy is pretty strong. Cards are flipping out and flying on me. We have the Queen of Shells, the Empath, and Eight of Roses, Signals. So, for, for those of you who chose Pile 2, let's get some clarity. I can tell you what my initial, my initial feelings are. You do desire love. You do. But there have been things that have hurt you and caused deep sorrow. Because you are so sensitive. You, you feel more deeply than anybody realizes you do. And I'm not wondering if, I'm wondering if they didn't just stomp on you, your heart a little bit. Maybe intentionally, maybe not intentionally. So you've walled up. And even though there are passionate messages, signals, signs trying to come through to you, the playfulness, the having fun, the focusing on love, the embracing your emotions, you are so focused on the multitasking of managing. And again, in this day and age, with all the things we got going on in this world, that's not unreasonable, but your, your angels, your guides, your guardians, your ancestors are calling you to try to find some, some semblance of balance. All work, no play. All work because you're avoiding heartache, heartbreak, because you feel so deep. And I get it. I'm an empath too, okay? I just so get it. I've had that experience myself, so I deeply resonate with any of you who chose Pile 2. Let's see. Ancestors, guardians, guides. Can we please get some clarity on sorrow? Wow, I barely got that out of my mouth. Chariot. Further clarity, please, on sorrow. What is the source of sorrow so that we can address it and heal it, release it, and let it go? Messages, please. What is this source of sorrow? Please. Messages, clarity, wisdom, insight, and guidance. What would you have us to know, those watching Pile 2? What is this sorrow? Okay. Multiple cards flipped on me here. Hang on. I don't know what flipped twin, so I've got to kind of look at him and try to figure out, make some sense of it. What else? What else? What else? Okay, that's all they gave me.
So, something happened. Jared obviously came out first. Something happened where you were ready. In this deck, this chariot isn't moving. It's like, yeah, you see the one line standing, this one's laying down. You were ready to move forward, but things didn't happen. And I feel like what you were ready to move forward towards was that foundation, that ab ab abundance, that love, that relationship that you wanted, you were trying to manifest, you were trying to create. I'm going to ask for a little bit more clarity. Hold on, y'all. What happened? Bursting of a new idea. What else? Somebody had a new idea, and that new idea pulled them away out of the relationship. Maybe a third party, maybe yeah, bursting a new idea, a new opportunity. Slowly, slowly, steadily walking away, leaving you standing alone. Hold on, y'all. I don't like how this is. <laughs> it just advice advice ancestors guardians guidance guy ancestors and guardians angels guides advice for those watching pile two please advice please what advice do you have messages of advice please messages of advice thank you I have a couple cards flip over for y'all. Hang on. This is the Witch's Tarot. Ten of Swords. The Sun. Advice from your ancestors, guardians, and guides. End it. End it. The hurt and the pain. It's not your burden to carry. Only in your mind is it your responsibility. It's not. End it. Because when you end it, when you let it go, when you release, that's when you step into the sun. Healing. New beginnings. Childlike wonder. Seeing the world with new eyes, playfulness, laughter, embracing your emotions, recognizing the only thing that really matters is love. Love for you. Love for you, boo. All right. Let's ask the angel answers. Oracle. Angel answers. Angel answers. Oracle. What would you like to share with Pile 2? What would you like Pile 2 to know, please? Ancestors, guardians, angels, guides, those who chose Pile 2, what would you like Pile 2 to know, please? Okay, thank you. That just flew. Improving your health. <laughs> 